there were some cert in guidelines that were published on 28th april 2022 but there are a lot of questions that people ask after the guidelines were published so now there is a new document from certain where they have clarified the frequency frequently asked questions and detailed out some of the points of concerns so we will quickly go through the faq document that will help us understand the cyber security directions for incident reporting that were given on 28th of april 2022 guys very important video if you are an it manager if you are a ciso if you are a cio of any corporate firm within india because this law is applicable to all government offices to all body corporates effective from 28th of june 2022 okay so i request you to watch this video and if you want to have a look at this document yourself then you can look at the provided link under the description of this video so that you can get get a better understanding yourself okay so let us quickly go through the document and understand the nitty gritties of what exactly is given here uh, this is the introduction page and after that you have toc table of contents you have introduction you have basic terminology and scope of the directions many people were confused regarding the scope of the directions what is the scope of applicability many people were asking about that so that has been clarified guys section 2 details out the directions under sub section 6 of section 70b of the it act 2000 and exer 1 has explanation for types of cyber security incidents to be reported to certain okay so as you can see this is a quick introduction that they have provided very nicely done very nice introduction that has been given okay and here you can see the applicability any service provider intermediaries data center body corporate any person who fails to provide the information calls for compliance okay so as i mentioned this document is in response to general queries received by certain from time to time and this document is not a legal document guys let me assure you and in no way whatsoever replaces the actual part of the it act okay so here we have the faq starting from quick question what is the reason for these cyber security directions here you see the reason because of the growth of the internet there is a need for a direction okay in after that you have clarity about what is certain and what is their status of certain okay so as you can see is appointed by central government computer indian computer emergency response team is there it's a national agency for cyber security incident response and it makes sure that there are proactive measures for prevention of cyber incidents in the country very important guys so after that since it talks about cyber security incident so now it has to define what is a cyber security incident so cyber security incident means any real or suspected adverse event in relation to cyber security that violates an explicitly or implicitly applicable security policy so this is your security policy huh, that you have defined for your organization and it results in an unauthorized access denial of service or disruption unauthorized use of a computer resource for processing or storage of information or changes in data or information without your authorization results in a 
cyber security incident it is better for understanding point of view to have a clarity around what is cyber security incident so now i think this definition is very important and as a document in whole this document is very important guys many people would not be aware about this document that's why i am creating this video to generate some awareness around people and to make them aware that certain has published a great document for your review and uh, let me just quickly go through some of the more faqs here here it mentions why cyber security is important what is the role what process was followed to arrive at cyber security directions what what they did they had some consultations with ex industry experts etc after that what are the functions of certain in the area of cyber security so here all the functions are defined who do the cyber security directions apply to here you see service providers intermediaries data centers body corporates here you have clear scope cleared out okay only individual citizens of the country are not covered by these directions only organizations are after that what is the applicability okay after that type of incident which is already mentioned at an extra one and was already there in the initial advisory of 28 4 again these are some faqs let me quickly go through the faqs that was most concerned uh, by people and in fact i was also very much uh, you know wanted to have some clarity on those particular faqs let me just quickly go through that just one second let me quickly go through it yeah so there was a directive to store the logs right there was a directive to store the logs of all the ict infrastructure within india for 180 days guys and this actually created a lot of confusion amongst people so they have clarified now about the logs and this is the first thing that i also searched in this faq document so the advisory said that the logs have to be stored within indian jurisdiction okay but now as you can see the logs they have clarified the logs may be stored outside india also as long as the obligation to produce the logs to certain is adhered to by the entities in a reasonable time which means that if asked you should be able to produce the logs in a reasonable time to certain so that they can investigate in case of any security incident after that there was a question do we need to store logs for financial transactions so again there is a clarification that any type of financial transaction the logs have to be stored in indian jurisdiction guys and then people were confused what kind of logs are we talking about so here you can see there is a clear indication of guys what kind of logs are required you know they have clarified here detailed out what kind of logs are being expected okay after that they have clarified who can request the logs from the entities okay after that you can see why is it required to synchronize ict clocks so they have clearly you know identified that as well again i would say a very detailed out uh, faq document by certain and uh, you know uh, as i said this will be applicable from 28th of june so if you have any more questions regarding to you know any of the uh, topics that i have discussed in the video here they have clearly laid out definitions as well guys 
very good document i would say again the link you can find in the description detailed out document clearing out a lot of doubts i would say that initially we had okay so great document thank you so much certain for clarifying all the doubts and uh, again viewers if you have guys any questions any comments feel free to ask in the comment section thank you so much for watching take care bye bye